Hello, my name is Gloria Gerd. I am the mother of makeup art. What does that mean? I paint beautiful pictures with makeup. I am also the host of Baltimore Art Scene. Let me tell you the wonderful art places I've been in Baltimore City over the summer. The first place I'm gonna tell you about, the Universal Circus. I went there, it was under a beautiful tent at Security Mall. And guess what, you all? First thing that came out was the Caribbean Parade. I just loved the beautiful outfits and the feathers they had on. I just loved it. And another act I loved was an aerobatic act. They was moving, their bodies twisting them. I've never seen anything like it before. And this Universal Circus had acts from all around the world. You all, it was just beautiful. And yes, I enjoyed the elephants. They had two elephants um, going around. Now, the next place I went, you all, um, really touched my heart and I was involved in it, was the Monument Quilt um, Reception. The Monument Quilt um, is where people make quilt squares that give themselves hope and uplift them from domestic violence and rape. And this was held at the Rita Church Community Center where seniors got together and did these quilt squares and some of the squares said, he saved me, you are beautiful and there is prayer and strength. It was just a beautiful occasion, you all. The next place I went, you all, I had never been to a drive-in. So when Kim from Jump for Joy asked me, Gloria, let's go to see Big on the big screen outside at Avon. That's the American Visionary Art Museum. She called me about 5.30. She said, Gloria, you know, we're gonna have dinner, then we're gonna see a movie. Are you ready? I'll pick you up and have out. I was ready, because I always wanted to go to a drive-thru. Yeah. You all, we got there and it was on the hill, and we had dinner and a picnic on the hill, and guess what? You could get in the museum for free. And I saw a wonderful show, Yummy, the food show. It was just outstanding. And you all, Big, had one of my favorite actors in it, Tom Hanks. It was just wonderful. I just loved it. And the children from um, Jump for Joy, they liked it too, I think. <laughs> Y'all, it was just wonderful. Now, let me tell you about the next place. You all, um, I grew up in Baltimore, and I went to the Boulevard and the Senator Theater, and they had closed both of them down, but they reopened the Senator. So, again, Jeff with Joy, um, one of their um, jumpers, um, got accepted in the school, Bliss. And let me see if I can get this right. Okay, y'all, y'all help me. Oh, Baltimore uh, School for Young Women. Leadership. leadership. I miss leadership. Baltimore Leadership School for Young Women. And since she got accepted in the school, you all, guess what? She got premier tickets to the movie Step. And guess what movie I saw it in? I saw it at the Senator. And I was just so excited, you all. This movie is about three girls. They followed them from the sixth grade to the twelfth grade, okay? But they followed that whole class, and that whole class got scholarships for STEP, okay? It's about the STEP team that one of the girls started. You all, it was some wonderful STEP moves in there, wonderful STEP moves. That's all I'm going to say, because I really do want you all to see the movie. Now, the next place I went, I went with my... Um, granddaughter, Jasmine. These tickets were really hard to get. You all. I went to the National Museum of African American History and Culture. She said, Grandma, I got us some tickets. We're going to catch the train. You all, it's the first time I caught the train to D.C. We went there and we went to Union Station and we got off. And of course, she catch Ubers, but we walked on the way back because I wanted to see some of the city. But this museum, you all, we had, of course, we had to stay in line to get in. You all, I went in there and I was just so surprised because it took years 
and years to build this museum. I'm thinking 10 years, but it could have been over 10 years. But everybody from the country, around the country, donated this from this museum. And from the outside, it just looked like a, a, a big glass pyramid from the outside. It just reminded me of Egypt and, and Africa. And when you went outside, you all, it was huge. We didn't finish the whole day, but we did see the music section because she know I, I love I love music, you all. She know I love music. And you all, they had wonderful um, statues of people. I just, I, I just loved it. And had things you can read because I, I love to read. So I had to go in there and had beautiful things you can read. You all, I was just so proud to be there. I was just so proud to have this museum. Now we went, that was the music floor, and then we went on another floor where, okay, it talked about wars. African Americans been in every war in this country. Did you know Christopher Addis was even the first one black man to die in the Revolutionary War? So they, and then um, that floor also talked about people in the Civil Rights Movement. You all, it was wonderful. I did not um, get to go um, on that first floor, okay, where they had Emmett Till um, casket because it, 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 it was crowded. But you all, it touched me just to be there. It, it, it was just awesome. Um, the next place I went to, uh, I love music, the Baltimore Folk Music Festival at Patterson Park. You all, I just loved it. You all, did y'all know? I love the square dance. Y'all didn't know that, did you? Okay, I love to have people <laughs> play and see people playing the fiddle. But you know what I saw? I saw people dancing with swords. And that was just something special. I mean, they said, guess what they said? Don't try this at home. Okay, they didn't have to tell me twice. But you all, they was dancing with the swords and the feet going under each other. It was just so powerful. And then, you know, I saw this wonderful jazz band. It was the Catonville Jazz Band High School Band. You all, I thought they were professionals. They were that good. And it was like, wow, you know, I'm up there dancing too. But see, they did something different, you know what I mean? They um, had, I guess they had about 25 people, but they played a Stevie Wonder song, Once in My Life, on those steel drums. You all, it was just so powerful. I mean, and, and I just I just loved it. I think, y'all, I might be coming up with some country next time. You never know. I may be teaching y'all how to do some square dance, as they call it contra dancing. I may be teaching y'all some. You all, it was just wonderful, and I just loved my summer. You know I'm going to be back in Baltimore Art Scene and tell you about some of my things I went to in October. Have a good time. And you know what you need to do? Keep art in your heart. That's what you have to do. How do you do that? You do that by looking at the beautiful artwork all around you. You are art. Enjoy. See you next time.